Hello and welcome to the inaugural episode of Anger Unplugged, a variety show like no other. I'm your host, Hannah Lamas, and what a lineup we have for you today. We're going to have the privilege of hearing Tosin Adebayo's vocal stylings, the poetry of Mariam Ahmed, and the musical sensibilities of Jay Curley with his own original song, Haircut. So first up, we have 20-year-old talent native Tosin Adebayo singing her rendition of Beyonce's Heaven. But first, we'll just have a quick chat. Tosin, thanks so much for coming in. We can't wait to hear your Hi. song for us Thanks. today. Uh, have you been a singer your entire life? Yeah, I've been singing since I was small. I did theater for seven years and I sing in church as well. Oh. So, so no nerves performing for us today then, you're well used to it. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fantastic. You're gonna be singing a Beyonce song for us today. Would you consider her to be one of your inspirations or are there other uh, singers that you look up to in the in industry? I wouldn't listen to that much Beyonce, but I like a lot of underrated artists like mm -hmm. Lauren Hill and yeah. people who are underrated. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, no, excellent. So, and you also like, I heard, uh, Korean culture. So do you like K-pop as well? Yeah, I listen to K-pop. Yeah. I sang in the K-pop festival like last year. Oh, fantastic. So. And you performed in English or in Korean? In Korean. Oh, wow, yeah. that's very impressive. Yeah. Do you want to do more of that? Would you be interested in singing more, perhaps more Korean songs? Not really, it's too hard. <laughs> too hard? Oh, no, well, I hope we'll have you back again singing a Korean song for us sometimes. Do you have any uh, plan to go to Korea? Yeah, I plan to go there after my course in college, teach English for two years. Gosh, that's fantastic. But here at home at the moment, you've been working on a, a series. Yeah, I've been working on something called a stripped series. Basically, when I get like 10 people of different backgrounds and beliefs and get them in front of the camera and ask them 10 questions that they don't know until then. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting to see how that turned out, to yeah. be honest. So. Oh, that sounds fascinating. And, and you're also... You also run a blog as yeah. well. Is that related to... Yeah, it's kind of mixed in together, but I haven't been focusing on the blog that much. Oh, you have a lot yeah. of other things going on with uh, the, the series, of yeah. course. And you're in college at the moment yeah. as well. Yeah, studying nursing. Nursing. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to hear what you have for us now tonight. So that will be right now. So let's hear your song, Beyonce, by he Heaven by Beyonce. Thank you. I fall for you, the hardest It made me the strongest So tell me your secrets I just can't say to see you leaving Heaven couldn't wait for you Heaven couldn't wait for you, no. Heaven couldn't wait for you. Heaven couldn't wait for you. So go home, go home. We laughed at the darkness, so scared that we lost it. We sat on the ceiling, I just can't say to see you leaving. Heaven couldn't wait for you. Heaven could wait for you, oh, yeah. Heaven could wait for you. Heaven could wait for you, for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. Heaven could wait for you. Heaven could wait for you. No. Heaven could wait for you. Heaven 
think it'll wait for you So go home, go home Go home, go home. That was fantastic. Thank you so much. That was Tosin Adebayo singing Heaven. And next up, we have 19 year old Dublin born Maryam Ahmed, who will be reading two of her original poems, Family Tree and Exo. Hey guys, um, my name is Maryam Ahmed, and this first poem I'm performing for you is called Family Tree. When I was first born, I was the reason behind my father's smile. At three years old, mine disappeared the moment when he died. I grew up in a family tree with so many branches, a tree as big as none. Yet all these people and I still struggle to find family in a single one. My mother sacrificed her life to raise another three. Every day of the past 19 years, the blame was pointed to me. I cannot find protection in men who are the very ones to inflict pain on their wives. And if they cannot respect and protect the lives of their own daughters, how can I believe they will ever care for mine? I have never shared happiness of that of anyone but my own. It is their role to boast their accomplishments and mine to let them speak my flaws. I am a mindset vigorously contrasted to theirs. And no matter how right it might seem to me, in a herd of sheep, there is no place for me to ever disagree. I cannot call the shots when I have no guts to hold a gun. I let them fire the bullets and politely volunteer myself as target rather than to try and hide and run. I have lived my life in a war to give in or to fight hardest to find myself at this lost sea. I choose to fight while knowing that apples do not fall far from the tree. Uh, the second poem is called XO. I was always X, you were always O. Our paths were always meant to cross. I was always fast and you were always slow. Our love was stuck between ebb and flow. I was always words and you were always touch. I never knew I would miss both as much. I was always nightmares and you were always dreams. Best nights are those when you sang me to sleep. I was always high, you were always low. Your love spilled my blood across dirty bathroom floors. I was always yours, you were always mine. Two right people, just the wrong time. I was always there, you were always gone. Two years on, we're back to naught. Thank you. Was wonderful, such beautiful and mature words. And you're only Thank 19 you. years old. I How long indeed. have you been writing poetry? Um, four years now. So I've been writing poetry since I was 15. Wow, from a very young age, because you wouldn't usually think that uh, a 15 year old would have that kind of interest, poetry. Uh, I didn't think I was going to be writing poetry at all. Um, I grew up reading a lot of books, and I kind of started off with novels, but then I realized it was no good at that. And after my first relationship and my first breakup, I just found myself jotting thoughts into journals and I saw that I could obviously string that into poetry and ever since I've been using it as therapy, so. Well, absolutely beautiful words. Thank and you. would you find that most of your inspiration comes from, from true life events that have happened to you, your own emotions? And Definitely, and I try to take around from like things that I experience around me, whether it's political kind of opinions and, mm -hmm. and stuff and try to write about that as well, but it's mostly just things in my own life, yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you think that Poetry it could be a, a healthy tool for young people to use to, to express themselves as you have. Definitely, and I think it's starting to become a lot more popular now again, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, it's no longer something that we see that we're doing on a curriculum for school. Um, poets kind of like Langliave and Rupi Kaur are kind of making it more popular for teenagers to start expressing themselves through poetry, which is great. Mm -hmm. And you have a blog that you started where you're inviting other people to join. Yeah, I do indeed. Um, I started The Romantic Effect about over a year now, and at the start it was just kind of my own safe place to share my own poetry, kind of articles, things going on in my own life and recipes and stuff. Um, but about a couple of months back, I decided to open it up and kind of start a guest contribution kind of aspect. So anyone who has any passion at all can share their work um, now on The Romantic Effect. So if anyone's looking, they can contact me through that. I think that would be a wonderful thing to do. And that was such a great performance of, of poetry. It's something that I suppose uh, maybe a lot of people don't get a chance to see performed live, uh, to have the, the poet speak their own poems. Do you usually perform? No, this was the first time, and it was a very interesting experience. Like, I definitely enjoy reading poetry, mm -hmm. but I like to do a, a bit more of this as well. So yeah. it's, it's been great. No, Thank it's, you for having me. No, we're so delighted to hear from you Thank and to you. hear your poems. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much. Mary and Ahmed, everyone. 
So our final act will be Jay Curley, who is going to sing for us an acoustic rendition of his original song, Haircut. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I'm Jake, and this is my song, Haircut. I want you here to sip along with me Digimon and some microwave chips Eating some popcorn until I felt sick Keep my feet on the VHS pile Chocolate milk mustache all above my smile I want to go back I want to go back one, two, three, four, I've got a new haircut. I hope that it can make me feel good. I've got a new fake smile. I lost my real one when I was a child. It could be so nice floating through life every day. It could be so nice floating through life every day. It could be so nice floating through life every day. It could be so nice floating through life every day. It could be so nice floating through life every day. It could be so nice floating through life every day. It could be so nice floating through life every day. It could be so nice floating one, two, three, four. I've got a new haircut. I hope that it can make me feel good I've got a new fake smile I lost my real one when I was a child Thank you Was Jake Hurley singing his original song, Haircut. So we're going to have Jake over now to have a quick chat with him. Jake, thank you so much for that performance. Oh, that was wonderful. Much. I have to ask, how long have you been performing music? Well, I've been playing guitar since I was a kid, but I've been just making my own songs for maybe around two, two years now. Oh, they're very so, impressive. Are, oh, are you. you trained or are you a self-taught musician? Uh, mostly self-taught, I'd say. YouTube tutorials, oh. I think, would be my uh, big thing I learned from as a kid. Oh, very good. Yeah, no, technology age. Yeah, and, we, while it, <laughs> and while you were performing, uh, we were seeing a very interesting video playing behind you. Oh, so what's you. the story behind that? Yeah, I made that with my friend Zach. Well, he made it. He's the, the high tech man with mm -hmm. the cameras. And um, yeah, it was fun just having some fun with a green screen. Yeah. Very nice time. <laughs> very effective. And while it was playing, we could see a lot of uh, it. Was a very, it's a very nostalgic song. Uh -huh. And we could see... Uh, video footage of a young child who I presume is yourself. That was me, yeah, that's your boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there was some footage of you playing karate or yeah, in a karate yeah. tournament. Doing a bit of karate. That was the 2004 Liverpool U Europe Championships, you know, doing some techniques, some moves. And did you do very well? I hit did that bronze, you, you know did? I, mean? I made it to the Lucan Gazette. Big wow, <laughs> well, an international competition. Yeah. That's very, that very impressive. Um, so you performed for us today solo. But yeah. are you usually on your own or do you perform in a no, group? No, I usually perform with my friend Nick. He's on the drums. He has some percussion elements, but he couldn't make it today. He couldn't get out of work. Sorry, Nick. But uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll give him a shout out. So yeah, big shout out to Nick. <laughs> yeah, you're, pro you're going to be performing soon. On Thursday, you have a gig. Will that be with, with, with Nick or solo? Um, that's uh, with Nick. With that's Nick. for um, District Magazine. It's for Pi to House, the uh, mm -hmm. suicide prevention charity. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's just to raise money, fundraiser type thing in mm -hmm. Hanger. Okay, in Hanger on this Thursday. Yeah. Great. And uh, if people want to keep up to date with you and know when your gigs are, do they have a way to, to follow you, to keep in touch? Yeah, my SoundCloud, yeah. my name is Jake Hurley Productions, but mm -hmm. um, on Instagram, I'm Jake underscore Hurley one also. 
perfect. Well, everyone should check it out and make sure that they catch thank all you. your upcoming gigs. So thank you so much to all of our guests for being here today and all of you for joining us at home. I've been your host, Hannah Lamass, and this has been the inaugural Anger Unplugged. So until next time, have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.